Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this Postman tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to capture your HTTP request using the Postman proxy. So let's begin. Now first let's discuss about some real-time scenarios which you might encounter while you are working on the real-time applications. So first we will discuss those challenges and problems and then we'll see how this Postman proxy will help you out. So let's discuss about some problems here. So the number one problem you might encounter is that you have integrated your APIs with your web application. Okay. And now you want to see that how your APIs are working or being integrated with your web application. So in order to do that, you need to track the HTTP request and find out that either they are working properly or not. Okay. So the first thing is uh, you want, you want to debug your API integration with web application. Okay. And the second challenge is that there might be a, some poor documentation available for the APIs and you want to know about some specific data about the APIs. You might want to know about the headers, body parameters, key parameters. So whatever uh, the data is being sent or received from the APIs, you want to know about that. Okay. So again, uh, lack of documentation is a problem. So these are the two problems you might encounter in the real time. And these both can be tackled using the Postman proxy. So how this Postman proxy works. So basically the Postman proxy will capture your HTTP, HTTP request. Okay. And then once you have those HTTP requests with you, you can debug them. You can get a knowledge from them. Okay. So now let's see how this works, how Postman proxy works. Okay. So basically you need to turn your Postman into a proxy so that whatever you perform on your web application and that will generate some HTTP requests and those HTTP requests will be captured by the Postman. So this is the flow basically you execute some features on your application and those will actually be captured by the Postman. Okay. So this is a simple flow. So you need to turn Postman into proxy. Okay. Then you need to perform some task on task on web application. Okay. And all HTTP HTTP requests will be captured by Postman. So this is what we need to do here. Okay. So how you can achieve this? Okay. So first thing we need to do is that we need, we need to enable Postman proxy. Okay. We need to define a port number. Okay. So on this port, whatever the data traveled through this particular port will be captured by the postman. Okay. So by default, uh, you will find five, 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 five port. So whatever the data travel through this port will be captured by the postman. Okay. The third step we need to do is that we need to find a static IP of your system. Okay. And then we will do some proxy settings on the browser level. Proxy settings on browser level. On the browser level, we need to define the same port which we defined in Postman. And also we need to define the static IP of our system. Okay. 
So now your browser proxy is using the port. Assume that it's 5555 and your postman is listening on the same port. So obviously you are sending your data through this port and postman is also listening on the same port. In this way, basically, the postman will capture your all the requests. Okay. So now uh, let's open the postman and see how we can do that. So now on the postman, what you need to do is that you need to click on this satellite icon. Okay. And here you need to select the request. Okay. And you need to select the proxy and you just need to turn it out. And now you see that your proxy is connected. This thing shows that on which port you want to capture the request. Okay. So I will go with the by default 5555 port and so whatever captured by the postman here you need to tell that where it gonna save. So if you want to save those requests in any collection you can go with the collection. If you want to save them in a history you can go with the history. Okay. Furthermore you can also provide some filters here. Okay. And this is a very simple way. You can just use uh, the strings in this way here. They have given the example here and simply it will capture the request or include the request or does not include the request. Okay. Now the postman uh, configuration is ready. Okay. Now uh, what you need to do is that you need to find the IP address of your system. So go on your Wi-Fi option, open the network tabs and, and internet settings. And here go to change uh, connection properties. Okay. And here just go scroll down a bit here. So here is my static IP 192.168.0.106. Let me write it down somewhere. So I am writing down here 192.168.0.106. Zero dot one zero six dot zero dot one zero six. Okay, so this is the IP, my static IP which I need to use. Okay, now on the browser level, uh, just open the settings. I'm using the Chrome browser right now. Okay, and here you need to search for the proxy settings. Okay, now open the proxy settings here, and here in the proxy. You can see that uh, actually using the proxy earlier as well. So you need to use a proxy server and you need to define the static IP of your system and the port which you actually defined in the postman. Now this is good to go. Just save this here. Okay. And now what we need to do is that open the postman. We do, You don't see anything here right now so far. Okay, but yeah, you can see that whatever we are performing here on the browser level. Okay, so whatever I perform here, just click on details. Okay, and um, you know, just go to all APIs. So I'm performing some tasks, I'm using the application. So whatever my browser is sending as a HTTP form, the postman will capture that. Okay, so this is how uh, it, it basically works. So um, just open uh, the postman again and you can see whatever action I was performing on the browser level, it got captured. So it says the type of the uh, type of the request, get or post. If I scroll a bit here you, so that you can see the extensions of these as well. So here you can see I am using the dummy rest API example.com and you can see all the requests which were sent from my browser is now being captured by the postman. Now there is uh, uh, one challenge you might face is that when you start working with the HTTPS, it might not work in most of the cases. Okay. So now what is the solution for that? The solution is very simple. Uh, when you are testing an application or building or developing an application, you are actually doing it on either the your developer environment, your QA or staging environment. So on that particular environment, you just need to turn off the HTTPS and you can test your application and get all the HTTP requests in the postman and that's it. Then there's a, a very good tip and trick for you guys is that if you don't have a proper uh, documentation, you can explore the application 
have all the requests in the postman and you know that there is a very good feature in the postman to generate the documentation a very good looking documentation so uh, you can even uh, tackle this thing with the postman proxy thank you so much for watching this tutorial we hope that you have learned something today if you like our videos please subscribe our channel like comment and share thank you so much see you in the next lecture